In this video, I will show you the platform Bybit and everything you need to know to trade Bitcoin successfully. We will look at how to create an account, how to deposit money, how the platform is set up, what features are available and how to open your first trade. Let's start right away with our first step, which is to create an account. For this, you can go to the video description below and click on the link because then you will receive up to $1,000 deposit bonus. Here below in the list, you can see how much you deposit and how much bonus you will receive. No matter how much you deposit, you will receive in any case at least $10 in Bitcoin as a bonus. To create an account, we either click right here on the right top corner directly on sign up or click here on join now make sure that we are here at sign up enter our data here and click on sign up and then we are ready to go once we have created an account and log in for the first time the page looks like this and we can now deposit money directly into our account in the next step to do this we simply go to our profile right here on the top and then click on my assets then we'll get here to this overview page where we can see all the different coins that we can deposit. We can either deposit Bitcoin here, US dollar Tether, Ethereum, EOS or XRP. Depending on which cryptocurrency we want to deposit, we just click on deposit right here on the right. For example, now for Bitcoin and then we get the Bitcoin address here where we have to transfer Bitcoin to. We can then simply copy the address and then send Bitcoin to that address. Alternatively, we can also deposit, for example, US dollar tether. And to do so, we just click on deposit. And then here you'll find the address to which we have to send US dollar tether to. I would recommend you that if you already have Bitcoin and you just want to trade Bitcoin, you just deposit Bitcoin here. And if you already have US dollar tether and you want to also maybe trade some altcoins, you can just deposit US dollar tether here. Next up, we will take a look at how the trading platform is actually structured. To do this, we simply go to trade in the upper left corner and then we see various options. We've got the inverse perpetuals and the US dollar tether perpetuals. These are the two important options. The difference is simply with inverse perpetuals we can see here these four different trading pairs and there we always trade with a currency that we have also deposited. That means with BTC USD we trade with our deposited bitcoins that we then want to increase and with the USDT perpetuals we always trade with the US dollar tether that we have deposited and that's why we have more options here. So if you have deposited USDT, you just choose the trading pair right here. And if you have deposited Bitcoin or one of these other coins, you then take the corresponding currency pair right here. As you can see, I have now deposited mostly Bitcoin on this account. So that means I go up here to trade, inverse perpetuals and click on BTC USD. Then we come to this trading page here. It might look a little bit complicated at first glance, but it's actually quite simple. We'll just go through the individual components step by step. Here in the middle, we can see the price chart. This is simply a section of trading view. That means we can adjust this chart as normal as in trading view. We can drop the chart right here. We can expand the options here. If we click on this little arrow, then we can also draw some trend lines here, for example. We can even add indicators here if you want to. And of course, also switch between the hourly chart or whatever else. If you click on here again on auto, and then we can operate the entire thing here as we already know it from trading view if you have ever used it it's basically exactly the same here on the right side of it we can see the order book so we can see all the selling orders on the market at the top and here below we can see all the buying orders here below we can see the recently passed trades displayed and if we open any positions, we can see them displayed down here. We'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. And here on the right side, we see an overview of our deposited assets. So in this case, we can now see here available balance are just 0.02 Bitcoins on this account. If we hover with a mouse over it, we can see the entire thing displayed in US dollars. Above here is the control center, which is used to control and execute our trades. We will now simply execute an example trade and look at the whole thing in practice. First of all, we can set our leverage here at the top. If we click once on it, then we have the choice between cross and isolated. The only difference is actually with cross, the margin is calculated from all deposit assets and all the positions and with isolated, each position margin is calculated individually. I would recommend you to use isolated and then we can select below what kind of leverage we want to use. Either we can just write it in here or just drag along here with the slider. 
As we can see, we could use up to a 100x leverage at most, but I would definitely recommend using a maximum of 10x leverage for beginners. We'll just set that at 10x for now and then click on confirm down here and then we'll see the leverage has been adjusted up here. Down here below, we can see the different order possibilities that we have. We can, for example, make a limit order. There we can set a certain price at which we want our order to be executed and then say how much we want to put into this trade. Or we could just make a market order. There we can see the price window falls away and we see only quantity, so how much we want to invest. If we use that, our order will be filled immediately at the current market price. Conditional order would be pretty similar to a limit order. Here we can, for example, change parts of our position where we can use conditional orders to reduce or increase the size of our position, but this is not so important for the beginning and is more of an advanced tool. We would just like to execute a market order to start with. That means we will enter the market with our trade immediately. Next, we can now set our position size here and we can either just use these percentage gradations here below, 10%, 25% or simply 100%. We must remember that this calculation here is always simply our assets, what we have deposited here below, times the leverage. In this case, I have now deposited 1,300 US dollars here, times 10 leaves us with a total position size of $13,000. So that's how this whole thing is calculated here. We could now adjust this here. I could also say I want to go with only 50% of the total balance in the trade. We could adjust it here depending on the leverage. If I set the leverage higher, I can of course also make significantly larger positions, just that you understand how this position size calculation works. Then I could open the position directly by clicking on buy long or just sell short depending on whether I think the price is going up or down. What we can also do is depending on whether we make a long or short position we can directly set a take profit and a stop loss. For example I want to make a long position so I'll click once on it then we can set a take profit here. Either we simply type in the price manually at which we want to set a take profit or we simply use this percentage controller that is quite practical. For example, we can say that if our position is 50% in profit, we would like the position to close. That's quite nice. Then we can see here also directly displayed at which price that is. The take profit is then executed and the expected profit would then be 0.0059 Bitcoin and that would be a return on investment of 50% profit. If we now adjust the whole thing here, we can see that automatically here the profit or the return on invest also adjust. So let's say for example, we want to close the position automatically at exactly $60,000. Then we see this will leave us with a return on invest of 36% profit for this position. The whole thing of course also works for a stop loss. We can say for example, if we go down 5%, then we want to close the position automatically then we can see here the price is displayed we can see that would be a loss of 0.00059 bitcoin and that would be a return on invest of minus 4.99 percent once we're done with this setup we can just click on buy long then we can see this short overview for our trade where we can see again exactly how big our position is what our liquidation price is so that would be if we would not have set up a stop loss if our position goes so much down in the red that our entire invested capital which we have put into this trade would be gone then the position is automatically liquidated that would be now in this case with this leverage at fifty two thousand dollars but of course we have already put a stop loss at fifty seven thousand five hundred dollars then our position is already there automatically closed so the liquidation price doesn't matter for us then we see again our take profit, see what kind of leverage we used and then we click once on confirm and now we can see our position was opened directly down here. Here we can now also see our trade in the chart with the individual parts indicated. If I go now for example on the hourly chart, change a little bit of the zoom, maybe in the 5 minute chart where we can see a little bit more clearly. Then we can see here where we entered with our position with the $6,850, which we have set here and see here below our stop loss, which we have set here. And if I now zoom out a little bit, then we can see here at $60,000, we have set our take profit. So here we can just see it again visually, depending on how the price behaves, whether we are getting closer to our take profit or our stop loss. We can also easily adjust the whole thing. If I just move, for example, the stop loss right here, then it all adjusts automatically here. And we also see our take profit and stop loss displayed here in the bottom right. All right, next let's take a look at all the components of our position here. On the left side, again, we can see what kind of position this is, with what leverage, how big the position is, 
how big the position is in Bitcoin, our entry price where we entered the position, our liquidation price, we already mentioned that earlier, our margins, so how much we put into this trade from our own capital, which is in this case 0.01 Bitcoin, and that was just these $691, which I put in from my own capital. On the right, we see our profit or loss. In this case, it's so little Bitcoin that we can only see zeros, but in dollars, it's also displayed again. And in this case, it's now $5 in profit. To the right of it, we would see if we already realized profit or loss, how much that is in total. And we can skip that, that is not so important. And to the right of it, we see our take profit and stop loss again. If we click on it, that is also very practical. We can see again exactly what we have seen before, where our take profit is, where our stop loss is, and what percentage profit or loss that would be. We can adjust everything here again. We can say, for example, if we are 15% in the loss, if we are 75% in the profit, we can adjust everything and click on confirm, and then the whole thing adjusts here, and we can see immediately what effect it has. Another useful function is also the so-called trailing stop. If we click here on add, then we can add a trailing stop. Trailing stop is simply a stop loss, but always pulls behind the current price. So if now our position runs into profit, then it would be very unfortunate for it. For example, if overnight we are very strong in the profit, but unfortunately it does not reach the take profit, and then at some point there's a big pullback and it runs into our stop loss. Although we were actually already much in profit, but at some point it's just fallen again. With such a trading stop, we can say that the stop loss should simply always follow and we can determine here just how much below the price it should follow. We could say, for example, it should be always $1,000 below the current market price. This would be right now $57,800. The trading stop would be at $56,800. And if the price now rises to, let's say, $59,000, for example, then our trading stop moves up to $58,000. The trading stop is then always $1,000 below the price. And if the price falls, of course, it remains in the same place. And that's how we can use a trading stop here. So we can now let our position run here. And if we want to close it at some point, you can do that very easily right here on the right, either with a limit order, where we can then choose again at what price it should be closed, or we can simply say market down here, then it will be closed immediately. I am just gonna do that now. And for that, we just click on it here once, and then we can choose how much percent of the position we want to be closed, only 10%. That means we take $600 out of our $6,000 position here, or we take half of it out, or we'll just take all of it. Let's take half of it, then we can see below our profit that we're gonna take, then simply hit confirm, and now we can see half of our position has been closed, and now it's only $3,000 big. The profit has now also been halved from $6 to $3, because we have taken half of the profit with us, and now the rest of the position continues. And as we now see below, this always shows the total value of our assets. And this here is our available balance, what we still have available. Now we have $1,000 available again, and could now also add something to the position here again. So if we say, for example, we would like to increase the position again, we are now at $3,000. Let's say we would like to add another $7,000. Just click on buy long and confirm. See our position has now risen to $10,000. And now we can see at available balance, we only have $300 available. And that's how we can control the size of our positions. Now, if you want to close everything again and close the whole position, we just click on market 100% confirm and we successfully closed the position and took the profit and that's already it for our first trade. I hope you are now able to use the platform. Don't forget to create an account using the link from the video description to take advantage of the various deposit bonuses. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.